Need a pinch of holiday spirit in your life with just three ingredients? It can easily be achieved. Courtney says so here. Even with the kids, they can jump in to help us. Absolutely. Well. It was so easy. Yep. We are talking about kid approved sweet treat of peppermint bark. Friend of the show, mom and culinary instructor Marcia Smart shows us how it's done. You know, you have always been our go to source for cooking, meal prep, batch cooking, and you are certainly our source now during the holidays. I love that you've done a holiday ebook. Tell me about that. Oh, I love doing it. This is maybe the third or fourth year that I've done it, and it's really like my thank you to my people for trusting me and giving me their email address. It's like, okay, you've been reading, you've been following, so it's kind of my gift to my people. <laughs> it's so wonderful, and, and we accept that gift, Marcia. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's talk about some of your holiday highlights because you got us covered from everything from a drink to an appetizer to even a sweet. Um, I'm so excited. Well, my favorite cocktail I've been making lately is a cranberry margarita. And then appetizers, you know I love everything that's like super simple. Um, but I also love throw back recipes like an old school cheese ball rolled in pecans. So that's in my ebook. And then also my peppermint bark, which we make like on repeat this time of year. And peppermint bark is one of those things I think that everybody loves, but this one is kind of near and dear to your heart. You make it with your daughter? So I make it with my daughter a ton. Now she makes it without me. She literally will come home from school and be like, hey, we need some more peppermint bark because it's so easy. All you have to do is put a couple bags of white chocolate chips in a microwave safe bowl. And then I just melt it for a couple minutes, stir it up until it's totally melted, add a little bit of crushed candy canes, Add a half teaspoon of peppermint extract, stir that up, lay it out on a sheet pan, maybe line it with parchment paper, and then just be sure you cool it so it's um, kind of breakable. It'll take about 45 minutes to cool. You should make it with your son, actually. Okay, well, you said it's super simple, minimal ingredients, so I think I'm gonna give it a try. You ready? All right, let's get started. My little chef here, AJ, we're ready to go. So we have our two bags of white chocolate chips. No, you can't eat the stuff that we're making. Not yet. again, a complete culinary home run by you and me in the kitchen. All right. I'm telling you, it was so good, Randy. Yeah, I mean, look, he's com he's very confident there yes. in the kitchen. Yes, he did such a great job. Yeah. I always love, he always, he's been bugging me to make it. And you were kidding, that was, let Looks so pretty easy. easy. Yeah. So easy. Tasted I mean, the bulk good of the time and, is yeah. putting in the refrigerator to yep. let it set, but very easy to make. Make sure to check out HoustonLife.tv for the full recipe. And again, if I, I like can it. make it, anybody can make yeah, it. Absolutely. We're looking forward. <laughs> I wish you had a sample here. We tried. I know. I'm sorry. It's all gone, Randy. I, when you have a kid in the house, yeah. It's all gone. Doesn't last long, does it? <laughs>